48 Laws of Power, by Robert Greene. Part 3. Law number 25. Recreate yourself. Do not accept the roles that society foists on you, recreate yourself by forging a new identity, one that commands attention and never bores the audience, be the master of your own image rather than letting others define it for you, incorporate dramatic devices into your public gestures and actions, your power will be enhanced and your character will seem larger than life. Law number 26. Keep your hands clean. You must seem a paragon of civility and efficiency. Your hands are never soiled by mistakes and nasty deeds. Maintain such a spotless appearance by using others as scapegoats and cat's paws to disguise your involvement. Law number 27. Play on people's need to believe to create a cult-like following. People have an overwhelming desire to believe in something, become the focal point of such desire by offering them a cause, a new faith to follow, keep your words vague but full of promise, emphasize enthusiasm over rationality and clear thinking, give your new disciples rituals to perform, ask them to make sacrifices on your behalf, in the absence of organized religion and grand causes. Your new belief system will bring you untold power. Law number 28. Enter action with boldness. If you are unsure of a course of action, do not attempt it, your doubts and hesitations will infect your execution, timidity is dangerous, better to enter with boldness, any mistakes you commit through audacity are easily corrected with more audacity, everyone admires the bold, no one honors the timid. Law number 29. Plan all the way to the end. The ending is everything, plan all the way to it, taking into account all the possible consequences, obstacles, and twists of fortune that might reverse your hard work and give the glory to others, by planning to the end you will not be overwhelmed by circumstances and you will know when to stop, gently guide fortune and help determine the future by thinking far ahead. Law number 30. Make your accomplishments seem effortless. Your actions must seem natural and executed with ease, all the toil and practice that go into them, and also all he clever tricks, must be concealed, when you act, act effortlessly, as if you could do much more, avoid the temptation of revealing how hard you work, it only raises questions, teach no one your tricks or they will be used against you. Law number 31. Control the options, get others to play with the cards you deal. The best deceptions are the ones that seem to give the other person a choice, your victims feel they are in control, but are actually your puppets, give people options that come out in your favor whichever one they choose, force them to make choices between the lesser of two evils, both of which serve your purpose, put them on the horns of a dilemma, they are gored wherever they turn. Law number 32. Play to people's fantasies. The truth is often avoided because it is ugly and unpleasant, never appeal to truth and reality unless you are prepared for the anger that comes from disenchantment, life is so harsh and distressing that people who can manufacture romance or conjure up fantasy are like oases in the desert, everyone flocks to them, there is great power in tapping into the fantasies of the masses. Law number 33. Discover each man's thumbscrew. Everyone has a weakness, a gap in the castle wall, that weakness is usually an insecurity, an uncontrollable emotion or need, it can also be a small secret pleasure, either way, once found, it is a thumbscrew you can turn to your advantage. Law number 34. Be royal in your own fashion, act like a king to be treated like one. The way you carry yourself will often determine how you are treated, in the long run, appearing vulgar or common will make people disrespect you, for a king respects himself and inspires the same sentiment in others, by acting regally and confident of your powers, you make yourself seem destined to wear a crown. Law number 35. Master the art of timing. Never seem to be in a hurry, hurrying betrays the lack of control over yourself, and over time, always seem patient, as if you know that everything will come to you eventually, become a detective of the right moment sniff out the spirit of the times, the trends that will carry you to power, learn to stand back when the time is not yet ripe, and to strike fiercely when it has reached fruition. Law number 36. Disdain things you cannot have, ignoring them is the best revenge. 
By acknowledging a petty problem you give it existence and credibility, the more attention you pay an enemy, the stronger you make him, and a small mistake is often made worse and more visible when you try to fix it, it is sometimes best to leave things alone, if there is something you want but cannot have, show contempt for it, the less interest you reveal, the more superior you seem. Like this video if you want, also, subscribe to Invincible Belief and hit that bell icon so that you won't miss the part 4 of 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene and more videos like this.